Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at how to make your own presets, how to save them in Cubase so they're only one click away whenever you need them. I really want the best of me. Did you ever wonder how you can make your own presets in Cubase and save them in Cubase and then bring them up whenever you need them to use them? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that today. First thing we're going to do is we're going to come over and we're going to open up an instrument. This one will do, Honey on Sonic, and create the instruments. There's the track. And we're going to go in and we're going to grab ourselves a piano. There's the piano. We have the 80s piano layer here, and this is on channel one. If we look at it here, you can see it's on channel one. We want to go down to channel two, and what we're going to do uh, this time is we're going to grab probably strings. And we look for something down here. We'll go with this one here. As you see there, it's still on the piano. Now we're going to go down to the third channel and we're going to grab something else. Music box. So now I have three, I have the piano, I have the strings and I have the music box. But when I play a chord on my keyboard, only the piano is working. So what we need to do is change it from channel one to channel two channel three we need to change them all onto channel one the way we do this is if we go up to the mixer is our volumes if we go to the midi you'll see the channels here and we can change this from the drop down menu to channel one change from channel three to channel one now if we play a chord we should get all three of them playing together If you go into the mixer, this will turn them on and off. And this will be the volumes. So I can turn the volumes down on the strings, turn it up. This will be the panning, if you want to pan one to one side. Now, instead of having to go and load this all in every time you want to use it, there's a way that we can save this as a preset and you can call it up any time you want to. How to do that is to go up here to preset management, press it and it comes up save as preset, save the preset. And in here, we just name it and we just call this one Alan. one two three we can save this preset as it is with everything on the one channel all the settings and we can go save it quite easily we can go up here to project management go down to save preset and in this box you can just name it i name mine alan so i can find it very easy and we just call alan um preset number one and then just press OK and save it now if we go up and we close this 
we'll go in now and we'll click on here and we'll remove the track now to get the track back again the next time you want to use it go over here to this area with the input output right click on the mouse and go down to use track preset click on that and over this side you will see your track okay if you can't see it you can just type your name in and all the tracks that you have made will come up here as you can see i have a good few in it already we we'll click on this one and open it up and there's our track just as we left it but we can do more with this if you want to add some um, inserts onto it we can also add the inserts and add equalizer and stuff on the channel strip and we can save this whole thing as a preset as well so if i go in here and i'll go down and get a modulator i'm going to add on a reverb We'll also go down and we we'll get an auto pan. We'll turn this up. I should do it. Okay. Now we can save all these together. We have a graphic equalizer on as well. And just to show you, we'll put on some tape saturation. So what we want to do now is we want to save the whole lot of this together so the next time we want it we'll be able to find it it's very easy if you go in here and you click on this and we go down to save track preset and then we can name it and we will call this one Alan track piano and strings okay and then what we do then let's change this here now we just press okay now if we close everything The next time we want to find it, we go in here, click, and there it is there, Allen track, piano, and strings. We'll open it up, and it'll set us up with a channel, with everything on it, just as we left it. Well, hope you found that useful and thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and um, come back again. If there's anything that you'd like me to look at or explain, um, drop a comment in the box below and um, I'll see you on the next one. All the best. Thanks.